Women in the Asian American community are remembering Michelle Go, tragically killed one year ago, pushed onto the subway tracks at Times Square with a train approaching. Fox 5's Ashley Rodriguez reports on the trauma her death caused the Asian American community and their efforts to heal. It wasn't hard to find a New Yorker who didn't remember the death of Michelle Go on January 15th, 2022. Michelle, yes, of course I remember. Last January, hundreds gathered to mourn the 40-year-old, fatally pushed onto the tracks in the Times Square station by a mentally ill homeless man, Marshall Simon. Michelle's passing came on the heels of very sharp increase of anti-Asian racism. The Angry Asian Women Group held a virtual day of healing Sunday, discussing the trauma the anniversary of Go's death triggers. Go's death came after Guiying Ma's brutal deadly assault in Queens and was followed by Christina Yuna Lee's fatal stabbing in her Chinatown apartment. You can't help but think, that could have been me. After the start of the pandemic, Asian hate crimes spiked by 361%, according to NYPD. There are a lot of times that we are more of like self um, protective at this moment, um, like more aware of our environment, sort of not standing very close to platform. I think that that did leave a mark in our hearts. And while the city recently rolled out new efforts to increase safety on the subways, Michelle's father, Justin Go, wrote in Sunday's New York Times. Real change comes with meaningful preventative measures. This requires, among other things, adequate and continued funding for housing, treatment, and other programs. He wished and wanted like her story to help create a better and safer New York City. Marshall Simon was initially charged with second degree murder, but was declared unfit for trial. He had been in and out of mental institutions for 20 years. His family saying he suffered from schizophrenia. He was handed over to a mental hospital. In Times Square, Ashley Rodriguez, Fox 5 News.